team, AAA, all against authority, French team. And his opponent playing for the Swarm Host team, it is sort of our blue Zerg. Alright, um, sort of played quite well in that uh, last game versus Soul. I think I've only casted Soul once, once or twice. And he played pretty much standard, but um, I think uh, the idea that he went for a Widow Mines instead of Siege Tanks uh, was probably not the best. I mean, yeah, the transition is easier, you can get it down a little bit faster, but I think uh, Siege Tanks are, um, while not as versatile, they're just way better uh, versus Roaches. Yeah, let's see what uh, Psionic is going for here. Like a uh, gateway expand. And sort of going for a hatch before pool. So, again, this does seem to be a little bit of the standard here on King's Island Station. Are you Danish, Mr. Dot Duck? Oh, Psionic uh, is playing something, well, not new, but um, different. Usually most players will go for a double gas and just send two workers in here. And he's going for a single gas and not opting to uh, send any workers in there just yet. That, that's something I've not seen at all. Usually you would expect him to at least then send three workers in there as soon as possible, but not, not quite going for that. So it's, it's kind of interesting, we'll have to keep an eye out. Now, finally sending in two workers. Okay. There's the third. That's a pretty late gas. Let's see where he's gonna go from, from here with that. It's also gas coming in for Sword Off. And he won't have the really fast gas available, but he doesn't really need to right now. He has the Overlord available in the main base. Uh, Psionic uh, will get scouted out here pretty soon. What he's trying to do is uh, get close enough to the gazer to uh, see if it's been established. And he sees, okay, just now being taken. So now he might be able to scout at the front and see if there are multiple gateways coming up, but that's not going to happen either. And once he sees that Nexus being established, um, he knows, okay, I'm in a good spot. Ooh, might actually get... Uh, he might be able to catch this probe. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah, it just needs to hang a little bit. One of these edges, at least. One more hit. Ooh, that's tough. The Zealot's coming in. Slicing away at the links. And shields are regenerating. But it's pretty cool for him to get these links in here. He's got out uh, the exact gas timing. He's okay, that's not a lot of gas mined. Um, in one of these geysers. Second one was established quite late, so uh, you should realize okay, there's something going on. It's a little bit of a weirder play coming out of Psionic. By the way, uh, Team uh, AAA, a French team, um, they've been established for quite some time and they also have a uh, Heroes of the Storm team now uh, in which Todd is playing. So you guys all know Todd, the uh, StarCraft 2 player, caster. Player turned caster, and then every once in a while he's still playing again. He's now also playing for a, a Heroes of a Storm team. And I think um, they're uh, quite quite big as, uh, um, as a clan, and also st um, establishing tournaments and whatnot. Alright, so that's double gas coming out of Psionic. Sort of a um, little bit late on his third, considering there wasn't too much pressure coming out of Psionic. But he's uh, trying to deny um, Psionic any kind of third expansion all too soon. So I like this quite a bit. Just being active out on the map. Orch is coming in. Yes, of course I've seen Gangfu Banda. He's one of the best pros in Germany right now. Well, there was a time where he was probably the best. And right now I've not seen him in a while. But um, he, he's pretty amazing. And he's... Only 16, 17. So yeah, he, he is pretty cool. Mm, that's a lot of sentries. 
That's a lot of sentries. Should get you thinking, sort of. And I think it does. He's getting the plus one missile attack upgrade. And sees the third just going down. Player is also almost halfway done. And he's establishing a creep spread, which is a good idea. That's creep all over, all over to the third. Overlord gets in there, sees the timing. Okay, plus one is coming up. Could be a plus one timing, but no robo as of yet. Really not much tech uh, aside of the uh, plus one. Links are streaming in. There aren't too many buildings over here just yet, so Psionic is still in trouble, but he's he has so many sentries available and a lot of energy as well. So it's gonna be tough for Sort of to get on top of these sentries. Psionic would have to be sleeping uh, in order to miss so many force fields. Plus one is halfway done. Uh, Hydrostand is on the way. Uh, creep spread, I don't know, sort of. You can work on that a little bit more. Get that creep established. And the Twilight Council is coming in for a Psionic. Also adding a lot of gateways. So once these gateways are up and uh, Twilight Council... I don't know. Uh, probably going for Blink. Yep, he's adding a lot of stalkers, so he's probably going for Blink. Yep, there it is. And immediately being Chrono boosted out. Also, scout out the timing for the third. And uh, sort of not really option to go for a fourth base just yet. But he did clear out a lot of these probes here in the third. Won't really... Um, won't really be able to destroy it just yet, and he also scouted out, okay, there's a massive, massive Blink Stalker and Sentry Army making its way over here. But maybe a little bit too early. Cyronic needs to watch out, he can't lose any of these any of these Sentries just yet, and he needs a way bigger uh, Stalker Army if he wants to take on Sword of. There's also 9 Hydras finishing up with a Grooved Spines upgrade, and a Spine being placed down as well. I think this would be pretty much suicide for Cyronic to move in here. But I would love to see maybe one or two more spines out of Sword of just to make it a little bit easier on him. The Groove Spines upgrade, that's gonna help out quite a bit. He's also getting Muscular Augments, uh, possibly to uh, go for the finishing blow if he clears off this army. And Psionic, I think he scouted out uh, some of these Hydras up here. This pretty much looks like suicide, I mean, look at that. That's a pretty nice concave, and I doubt that sort of is gonna run down there. So he's just gonna wait. Gonna wait for Sion to come up here. Nope. He's gonna trap him. Ooh, what a blunder! Losing a fully charged mothership core just to ca catch out a couple of hydras on the backside. That's not really worth it at all. And there he goes, trapping half of this army. And the force fields are somewhat good, but he's he couldn't really clear them off entirely. So now they are on his back once again. Sodov needs to watch out. Some of his army is still trapped in the force fields. But this is a huge army. And the robotics bay not quite finished. The Colossi are still a few minutes out. And Psionic, he needs to buy himself a little bit of time. He needs to keep that third base established. And of course get these Colossi out as soon as he can. Double Colossi production has started, he's chrono boosting them out as fast as he can. Mothership Core is there well, available again as well, but he doesn't have the energy for an overcharge yet, just yet. And Hydras will be coming in from both sides here pretty soon, he's trying to bait him in there, trying to get him into his third and then just close down and go, <laughs> go in on the sandwich. But some good force fields are warding off Thor sort of so for now. Psionic trying to break out here. Mothership Core, did, did he get it again? Yep, he got rid of the Mothership Core once again, so no overcharge will be available here whatsoever. Colossus is in the mix now, but that's so many Hydras, and it looks like he hidden a small, a small Hydra pocket over here, which might be enough to focus out the Colossus, but no real focus fire coming out of Sword of. And the other Colossus still dealt with all of this Hydra army over here. Ooh, Sword of losing quite a bit, and not really... Uh, not really going for any kind of anti-Colossus play. Ooh, there's one going down. And that was a nail biter. Just a single Zergling got that kill in the end. Yeah, so um, sort of did lose quite a bit in that exchange. Uh, wow. <laughs> 3,000 resources more than his opponent. 
That's a little bit bad, especially considering that he's only on three bases. Um, did he lose any any workers? No, not really. So that was a little bit a little bit over commitment coming out of sort of. Don't really like that all that much. He should do something against these Colossi here pretty soon. He's going for Hive Tech, so we we should see Vipers come into play. But um, he wasted so many so much gas in that attack and didn't really have the economic prowess to to begin with. And it's it's kind of kind of surprising to see him go for this. Oh yeah, um, are you interested in Smite as well, uh, Mr. Dotak? I heard there are, um, the, there's a big tournament going on this weekend. Oh, that's a nice position for sort of. He's trying to get on top of these Colossi. We'll try to kill one of them at least. And the next one is on the fire as well. Can he get it down? Yes, he can. But his army is melting away there. Lots of Hydras still under fire by the Colossus. And sort of is melting away here. That's two Colossus still out on the map for Psionic. And he's right on top of this third base with a lot of Blink Stalkers. Sure looks like sort of is in, under a lot of pressure right now. Single Viper is coming out and a couple of Hydras. But losing so much early on really did cost him so much in this game. And Psionic is well established now. He has that third running for quite some time. Has a lot of workers and some really nice income. With the Blink Stalkers, I don't think uh, I don't think he's gonna lose this. As long as he can keep the Colossi alive, he's gonna be in a good spot. There's the natural going down. Coming under heavy fire here. Let's see if sort of can find another angle. Nope. Some good force field just keep the entirety of his army back. It's a nice little abduction there. And get a single Colossus. Maybe we'll be able to snipe out the other one. Nope. That's just way too much Protoss right there. The Stalkers are just blocking it off. Uh, we'll need to walk it back a little bit more. But still, there's the GG. And Psionic takes the first map. 1-0 for French Portals player. And uh, let's see what the next map is going to be here. And we'll also have a look at the bracket, just to check um, if there are any updates in other parts of the bracket. Uh, should We should at least have our matches up now. Yep, and they are. Um, Starbuck advanced over Kanji, and Snofsky beat Senon. So it's Starbuck versus Snofsky in the other uh, quarterfinal. And over here, Giants advanced over Switchback, and Elaser beat Misu. So, um, yeah, pretty much all over the place. Don't have a nationality twice. Pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. Not that big dominance that we have sometimes where it's all Ukrainian players, for example. Or a lot of Polish players. Alright, uh, let's see. Invites coming in. Overgrowth is the max map. <clears throat> sort of was uh, switched to Terran. Better fix that, otherwise he might run into issues. Even though most of these pro players uh, can... Uh, I think most of these pro players can play uh, all of the races on, on a pretty decent level. Alright, countdown has started, so we're going into the second map. And sort of will sort of need to um, step up his game if he wants to advance over Psionic. Who, by the way, is a Grandmaster player right now. Sort of not played, placed into Grandmaster League. And Psionic, I mean, he didn't do anything special here. He just held on, defended the push uh, quite well. And sort of maybe got a little bit over eager with his, um, with his split play. So um, if that, I think that would have worked out if... Um, yeah, if, uh, if uh, Psionic didn't have the Colossi coming out at that exact time. 
uh, I think in that case, uh, sort of would have been fine. Like if the class had wouldn't have come out, he would have been in the good spot. But alas, they did, and Sionic was quite happy to take that game. And here we are. Second map is Overgrowth. Our purple Protoss player for Team All Against Authority. It is Sionic. His opponent in the red trunks, Zerg. Or swarm host, team swarm host with an Aniva in him as well. It is sort of. Wait, they get 2.6 million? Oh, I guess Smite is doing quite well for itself. They also have a sale going on. Like for Smite, you can get all of the the heroes um, in a single package right now, and usually it's uh, 30 bucks and it's 20 bucks right now. I've not played the game, but I'm I'm still thinking of getting it. <laughs> I I'm I have a I have an issue. I have a big problem. Game collecting. <laughs> My Steam backlog is just way too full. Oh, sort of uh, is changing things up quite a bit. Like he's gonna put out a little bit of um, circling pressure here, speedling pressure. That is getting the gas before the pool and. Delaying his uh, his natural a little bit, but luckily for Psionic, he's going for a pretty fast scout and also going for the gateway expand once again. Yeah, I, I agree, Mr. Dot Duck. Uh, sort of did throw it away. Um, he just wasted way too much on the attack, and since his fourth came in so late, and he didn't have perfect saturation on on his three bases as it was. Um, that wasn't a good idea. He could have killed the third and kept maybe half of his hydras alive, then it would have been all good. And this is pretty much perfect for Psionic. He scouts, scouts out okay, um, gas was taken early on, um, speed is in the works, there are no more workers in gas, so okay, I'll just need to defend, get a couple of zealots out and I'll be just fine. The thing is, he didn't really um, ward any of this off, so... It's still, it could still get a little bit iffy for him. Let's see, sort of not going for an expand. Still, still going into a zirkling production. There are f uh, six out on the map. There's two more joining them. So eight lanes. So uh, it's not too bad. And there's the the wall off. Psionic going for the double gate over here, and having that zealot to just close it off. Might nope. He's actually going for the sentry before. Could have gone for a second zealot instead, but sentry is a little bit safer, and then you can work your way um, into a real uh, army composition from that. Just need that sentry to buy a little bit of time. And the probe will be safe. Not bad. Quite a clutch save here for a psionic. And sort of is finally establishing that uh, natural over there. Now with eight links, um, I think this wasn't too bad of a commitment. And since he can at least deny the natural for Psionic for a little bit now, and got his uh, his natural up, and possibly will go for a little bit of a faster third, I think he's still in a good spot, but um, only delaying this for maybe 20-30 seconds. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see if it's actually worth it. And there's the Roach Warren. Sort of not really opting to go for these lar long ass macro games. I think this is gonna be a, a strong early attack again. Nexus has been thrown down here for Psionic, and he's trying to get this wall off established. But since he did place down two gateways over here, uh, it's gonna take a little bit longer to close this off. And I think this is also something that uh, sort of kind of pressured his opponent into and that he's relying on to now for his next attack. There's the third base coming in and we'll have to keep a close eye on the drone production just now. Just to check, okay, does he really want to get that third uh, well saturated or is it just for the extra larvae? Things are making their way in. Checks the sentry count. And we'll try to keep him over here just to see, okay, uh, when is he trying to take that third base and when is he moving over to apply a little bit of pressure. I think this still is a fake out from Psionic because it's not that big of a force 
Uh, he doesn't have any proxy piles established yet, but uh, I mean, he's making some decent way, decent headway over here. So I think uh, sort of will have to react, and yeah, he's producing six roaches, which should be fine. And to be honest, I still kind of believe that Sonic is going to turn this around. He doesn't have a probe with him either, so uh, that's not too much pressure that he could throw down here. And now with the links coming back here. Getting a little bit on the nerves of Psionic, and he's making a move towards that third base. It's almost done now, and a couple of roaches are coming in for sort of to stop this. And he's baiting out a couple of force fields. Ooh, some good force fields coming out of Psionic. I think this might be enough to uh, just ward them off entirely and just kill this base and then go for a recall afterwards. Oh, but they're breaking through. Not the best reaction time, and he's killing one of these sentries, two of these sentries. There's the recall, and... That's two sentries going down. Not bad. Some clutch defense here for sort of. Oh, he actually lost three sentries. That was one more sentry going down. That is pretty bad for Psionic. He's he's missing his army over here now. We will warp in more sentries just to ward this off. Overlord might go down. Yes, he will. That's uh, that's a lot of sentries. I think he's gonna be fine, but uh, he's gonna be trapped over here with on these on these two bases. And if sort of um, goes into the macro game again, which to be honest, right now uh, he's not in the best position to do so. He could have droned up way more. Oh, and a free kill on the sentry. That's always nice. And he's droning up now, so he's not as committed to this as he was last game, which I like quite a bit. And there's, there might be another kill here. But he knows, okay. Um, Photon overcharge always in the po always a possibility. I'm in a good spot if we just keep his sentry count low. Try to do something uh, with my roaches. Try to at least deny the third for a while. And that link might no too late. <laughs> he could have blocked it for a few more seconds. Alas, not quite. Not quite. Sort of uh, still has that hatchery that is a little bit low on health, so he will need to watch out. Otherwise, Sonic can go in there with a hit squad and just get rid of it. Alright, there's the Hydrogen coming out, and he's finally getting that dro drone count to the little bit of a nicer spot here with uh, 66 workers. Should go a little bit higher. And also think about a fourth base, but since he just got that gas on the third, probably not in his mind just yet. As the Twilight Council coming in, this is looking somewhat similar for Psionic. And warding off these roaches one more time. So plus one, uh, plus one, a missile attack is coming in for sort of, and grooved spines again alongside the um, roach speed upgrade. And a lot of Hydras. He's going for the same thing as last time. At a little bit of a different timing though. Plus two is coming out for Psionic behind this. And I don't know, looks like sort of is not really going for the all on attack just yet. But muscular augments um, is not there yet. So grooved spines, plus one. Uh, it's definitely definitely a possibility to do this, but I don't know, he just needs to watch out, not get trapped by the force fields and at least save his army if he's not doing all that much damage. I think Psionic is uh, in a pretty good spot to stop this. There aren't too many Hydras out there. Oh, well, as I say, that eight more getting produced and 18 out on the field already. So that's a lot of, uh, lot of DPS. There's the overcharge and uh, sort of not really trying to go in there again. But he's working on this debris, which is a good idea. He might be able to uh, get in there from two sides. And so he sees all this. And... Baits out a couple of force fields. Not trapping all that much. I see what sort of is trying to do here. He's trying to, like, get this army away from the third base and then just go in there with this amazing amounts of uh, DPS and just kill it outright and get away. But I don't think it's gonna be enough here. And look at that massive stalker army. They almost have blink as well and plus two is also finished. Um, sort of needs to think about a second plan here. He needs a, pl he needs a backup. Muscular augments almost done now. 
I think he might be able to get away now. He's still working on that sandwich. A couple of roaches trying to get him from the right side. And there we go, trying to close this off. But that's way too few roaches on the right side, and they're not even participating in this fight. Wow, <laughs> the offensive blink here coming out of Psionic. And sort of, he's on the run right now. And that's more and more Hydras going down. A couple of roaches will be produced behind this. Plus two is also on the way as long alongside the hive upgrade, but geez, sort of lost so much again. And these blink stalkers are really worth it for Psionic. Half a, half of um, sort of's resources lost. He still has his, almost his entire army back up, and didn't lose any additional sentries, so he still has a lot of energy. And he's just continuing to play this safe, uh, adding more gateways, going for the plus three attack straight away. And he knows, since he has such a high stalker count, he's still in a pretty good spot. He's going for high templars behind this, not for Colossi this time. Probably he's got it out, okay, uh, Hive Tech is on the way already. And pretty good concave for Sordov, but he's behind in upgrades. We'll get those Vipers out here pretty soon. Uh, the Vipers versus the Blink Stalkers not really doing all that much. Of course, uh, you can you can blind them, but then they just blink out of those spots and we'll be fine. But the Vipers are mostly in preparation for um, the Colossi that uh, Sordov is expecting. Uh, possibly high templars, but it's it's too hard to get these abducts going. Interesting that sort of doesn't like uh, to, to throw in a couple of swarm hosts into the mix. The upgrades he has already, I um, think he could use them for some defense at least on his uh, gold base. And Psionic wisely going for the fourth base behind here, not opting to go for the little bit vulnerable uh, gold base. But for sort of, it's a good idea to actually take that, uh, just to have a little bit of a shorter, um, shorter rush distance to his opponent. And there are the kills, in that fourth base, and he moves into the natural as well. Ooh, nice job, getting rid of the mothership core, and that's always uh, a little bit iffy. But ooh, wow, look at that massive army! You can't really engage that sort of. And there's a little bit of. Of a warp in here. Storms is also almost done. And I don't know, did he get rid of. It looks like he got rid of the spire that was placed down earlier. Yep, spire will have to be reproduced. And sort of had to send back most of his army, and there's the engagement. A couple of nice storms here on the right side, getting rid of most of these hydras. Left side still in engagement, and these sentries are in a bad spot, but looks. He's, he's just fine with a massive blink forward, and that's sort of, again, losing most of his army. He really could have used these additional forces down here. But now Psionic, he's just going for it. He doesn't even have any um, mass AoE, except for a few storms available, maybe four storms in this mix. Oh no, there's actually a couple more, a couple more high tempos in there. And that's a lot of workers going down for sort of. Psionic's just playing this incredibly safe and incredibly nice style with lots and lots of blink stalkers. Not really going for the direct counters to these uh, to these hydras, so not offering any um, any easy way to uh, to counter this army. Some good storms, <laughs> warding off, warding off the hydras and roaches. And he doesn't even really need to uh, use blink for defense all that much. He's just offensively blinking into these armies. But with a plus two now, uh, sort of is still doing a little bit better, but it's, he doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough here. His income has dwindled down to a very measly <laughs> 600 minerals per second and yeah, uh, per minute. And that's Psionic going for the 2-0.